I think you meant, I think you said the best way to learn the goal release is sort of repeat. Did you just, I remember you saying before it was to repeat it to yourself or actually say it out loud, would you say? So going through the steps yourself. Yes. There's something added by saying it out loud, which is the hearing mm. of it. Yeah. Is going in through an additional channel to your mental uh, voice. Yeah. So, but, but I've also found that the gold key release just thought. I don't usually speak it. Yeah. It's just plain old potent. Yeah. Also, the crystal crown procedure. When you get familiar with the structure of it, you'll find that you're. Having it come into you from outside is easier sometimes because when the procedure progresses, the mind dissolves in the middle of the procedure and you can't remember either what you are working on or the next step. Have you had that happen? Yeah. Yes, yeah. I have. Yeah. And the thing to do, if you're doing it without the recording, you can just wait for the mind to reconsolidate. And then you'll remember what the next step was, and you'll remember what you're working with. It'll just resurface. The mind will recoalesce. Right. If you're doing it from the recording, you don't get that opportunity unless you pause the recording playback. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, the, so like, for, so generally, another thing, if you become really efficient is at it, but any of them two anyway. It's an automatic. It's an automatic response where it's it's working from within you. Is that what you you know from the? So you wouldn't have to. The steps are there. It's almost like. A, it's more. It's feeling it within yourself. It's a feeling sort of step each step. That's right. Okay. Yeah. 